Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how I edit my vertical videos uh, inside of Final Cut um, for real estate. So um, I like to film these. I'll just play this as I talk about them. I like to film these as like one long continuous clip walking from the outside to the inside uh, using speed ramps. So um, it's pretty easy to get this effect. It's just one, again, it's one long clip. It might take you a little practice filming it. Um, and I'll make a video on how I film these at some point, but for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to go over how I edit them. But yeah, it's just one long clip with uh, motion blur added into it and speed ramps. So not a whole lot to it. It's pretty easy to do this. Um, and just like for reference, I film all these on my, on my phone, on my iPhone with a phone gimbal. I've got a little DJI mic that you can see is clipped on Camille in this one. Um, it sounds really good. The quality is really good. I don't really do a ton of color correction. I just kind of drag it on and, um, edit the speed ramps and export it out. There's the reason I use the iPhone is because the exposure adjustments are a lot faster than I have been able to see in like a more professional camera. So, um, I just use a phone. It's easy. It's quick. It takes five minutes to get through a house and film one of these. And, um, the, the results are, are really nice. It's similar to like going through and filming a Kubikasa or doing a Kubikasa floor plan. That's about how long it takes to film this. So it's a nice little add on and, uh, nice little video to give your clients, but, um, okay. Just getting started. A couple notes I have is that a, every good edit starts with a good, a well-filmed video. If you're into gardening, you know, you can't really grow good food in your garden if the soil is lifeless. So similar to that, you can't put a good video together if your raw material is filmed wrong. So, uh, make sure you're you're filming these these right. And again, I'll eventually put a video out on how I film them. Um, but uh, yeah, that's 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 important. Getting it getting it right in the camera goes a long way. Um, another note: I use uh, Ryan Mangles Motion Blur. It's a plugin. It's free. You can find it on Ryan Mangles website, and I'll link it in the description as well. But it's very nice. I mean, it, it makes the blur on the speed ramp super realistic and just it adds a lot to the to the video. So I would 100% recommend his motion blurs. There's probably more out there, but that's just the one that I use. Um, anyways, so let's just get into the timeline and let me show you what I'm I'm doing here. If you haven't already looked, you can you can see I've got the agent speaking and introducing herself and the listing in the beginning. I've muted the the audio track here just for uh I don't want that noise like popping up when I'm trying to record this. So, that's muted, but she is talking in the video and after she talks, I'm just adding a speed ramp. Um and you can see this one is like at 1900 speed. And then I add a little bit slower of a, of a clip. I mean, a lot slower, not a little slower. It's down at 125. Um, I mean, you could do a hundred percent, you could keep it true speed, but I like to play around with these and just make the speed f work with how, with like the flow. Sometimes I need it to be a little faster than regular speed. So um, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that when I get into the edit, but that's pretty much it. You can just see there's just, there's fast points, eight, 800% speed followed by a slow point, a hundred percent speed followed by another fast point, 133% speed. And over top, all of the, all of them, I'm, I add the motion blur effect. So, um, pretty, pretty simple. I don't do very much. I don't color correct these. I don't 
add fancy outros like the end of the video is just the end of the house um i just kind of make these quick and easy so uh, it doesn't take long to edit maybe like 10 minutes of the end or not 10 minutes probably like 20 to get all the speed ramps in there depending on how many you have but it's a pretty quick process so um, let me go ahead and just start a new project and show you how I do this from beginning to end. Let's just say Radford Vertical 2. Make this a vertical video. Uh, I always do 1080 for my vertical resolution. 4K is a little overkill, if you ask me. Just makes the file sizes too big. And when agents try and download them, they struggle. And then they ask for it to be compressed. And then you're back to square one, exporting it out at 1080. So. I just export them all out at 1080 from the beginning. And okay, so we got our timeline. This is my long continuous clip. And I'm just gonna drag the whole thing down to the timeline. I'm gonna mute the audio so that doesn't keep popping up in our training video. So you can see I've got a little bit of junk getting ready for the shot here. Um, I'm just going to trim that out. And start walking in as she begins to talk. Um, this is all going to be regular speed. And then once she turns, that's probably where I'm going to start my speed ramp. And to add the speed ramp in there, you just want to hit shift B. This is going, it's not going to like cut the clip up into a bunch of different clips it stays one clip but you're able to change the speed on each portion of this so this half I could make that times 20 and then this is 100 you know you can customize the speeds with this um, speed ramp blade tool so shift B will add in a speed change location endpoint and then I'm just gonna play this through until where I want the speed ramp to stop. And I'm going to go all the way through. And that looks like a good point right here to have the speed ramp end. So now I'm going to hit Shift B again and add another point. So now you can see this portion of the video clip is isolated and I can change that to eight times speed. And now when you play it back, you go quick through here, boom, and then it goes back to normal speed. Um, one thing to note, <clears throat> you can see as I'm walking through this video clip, this is about how you film it. Um, so not entirely related to the edit, but you can see I'm filming at the same pace all the way through the video. I'm not walking fast through the parts that need to be speed ramped. I'm walking at the same pace and the camera's going the same speed. And I find that just gives a nice effect. Um, it just keeps your video more consistent when all of your movements are the same. You can then add in the speed ramps exactly where you want them and it just looks a little bit better. So um, when you're filming these, just stick with the same speed and pace. Um, that's my tip. Anyways, getting back into the editing. Okay, so I've got times eight. And, I, and I'm going to come back to this. I'm just making it times eight so I know what my speed part is compared to the slow part. I, I will make all my speed ramps eight times eight to start. So that's going to be the end of the slow part. I'm going to keep that at 100. Hit Shift B again to add in the end end point, like the start point for my next speed ramp, which I'm gonna have speed up until here. That looks good. There's no magic place for for start and end points. Just do what feels right in your heart. And now I've got a speed ramp there, slow part, and I'm going to start the speed ramp as my camera starts to go back towards the door. So 
that's the start of the next speed ramp. And I'm going to drag this out to where I want the end point to be. And let's just go there. And then I'm going to make that times eight. And now I'm going to start the next speed ramp with shift B all the way through to the dining room. And I'll make that times eight speed. So now you can see a pattern is developing from normal speed to fast, to normal speed to fast, normal speed to fast, et cetera, et cetera. And you can do this through the whole video. And um, once, you're, once you're done there, you can come back through and just start tweaking everything. So a couple of the tweaks that I like to, to make is adding, is just changing the speed here. Like it doesn't have to be, dogs are going crazy. Sorry about that. Um, it doesn't have to be 800. You can tweak this to where it just feels like it's the right speed and the right pace. Um, sometimes it's 1600% faster. Sometimes it's 800% faster. There's no magic number, but I do just like to go back through and adjust these. Usually I'm adjusting them like higher than a thousand percent, but Again, there's no magic number. It's just to get the pace right. And um, really, sometimes I'll even adjust the normal speed ramp. You know, if it's 100%, but I want it to be a little quicker to get into that next speed ramp, I might make it 115%. Um, but uh, anyways, so you can spend some time playing around with these. There's no magic number. It's really what looks good for your video and the speed that you film in. So um, once you kind of have all of your speed set up, the last thing that I do is I add the motion blur effect. It'll be in your titles, motion blur. I just add that over top of the speed parts and trim them down to cover the speed ramp. Um, I found that I like my speed ramps to be around a second long. So this one, I'm actually going to slow down quite a bit. Um, that's close enough. I feel like that's just like a good pace, a second, one second, maybe like two, if you're going for like a really long speed ramp, like I know I did a long one coming from the backyard back in through the house. So I've already seen all the house, so I don't really care to like slow down through any of this. So this is like a really long one going upstairs. Um, and I, I might make that like a two or three second speed ramp just to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, if it's too fast, it just looks jumpy. So, and you can see it's, it's probably a, four second clip already. So I can make that long one, a, that long speed ramp a little bit longer. Cause I'm, you're just covering so much, so, so much space going from the backyard all the way up to the top of the house. Um, and you could add little speed ramps and slow downs when you're going back into the kitchen, but You've already shown this once, so I, to me it's kind of pointless. I'm just going to speed all the way back up to the new part of the house, which is the upstairs. And let me just go back to my original video um, and show you how that looks. So you can see this is a long speed ramp to get to the end. Boom, boom, boom. So that is a case where I would have a longer one, but most of the time you can see these speed ramps are pretty short, a second, a second and a half at the most. Um, and if you see your timeline like this, like say your final cut closes and you're like, oh my God, where did all my speed ramps go? It's not a big deal. You can get it back pretty easily um, just by clicking on your clip and going to custom speed. Now I have all of your speed ramps back. Um, so that's pretty, pretty much it as far as the edit goes. I don't 
again, I don't make these overly complicated. This is just a little add on for um, agents to do a quick little social media video. So, um, yeah, I guess a couple things to note. Um, I don't add any music to these either. Most of the time the agent's going to put like a good trending song from Instagram in here. So putting in a royalty free song is a crappy royalty free song. They're all kind of crappy in my opinion. Um, it's just kind of pointless. So I keep it, I mean, I, I keep their agent's audio in here obviously, but there's no song or music behind it. Um, Trying to think if I have any other tips. Um, well, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. It's a simple video. It's not. It's not complicated. It's uh, one, one one long clip with speed ramps added in there. So um, honestly, the the most difficult part of this video is actually filming it correctly. And again, I'll make another video on that. If anyone's interested in it, just leave a comment below and um, let me know. But yeah, I hope this video helps. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment and I'll try and answer them if I can. Thanks for watching.